The camera is everything. Without it, there would be no photographs, no videos, no YouTube. Yet every photographer I've ever talked to tells me that it's not about the camera. Gear doesn't matter, gear doesn't matter, gear doesn't matter. They repeat it like a mantra. The best camera is the one that's with you. It doesn't matter what camera you use. Gear doesn't matter, gear doesn't matter, gear doesn't matter. It's a belief that I subscribe to and it's an ideology that I push to a certain extent here on this channel as well. I truly believe that if you gave Michelangelo a burnt stick, he would produce better art than an amateur with a thousand dollar pen. But I think it's also utter bollocks. Enter the legendary Palomino Blackwing. The Rolls Royce of pencils, unlike any other writing experience. John Steinbeck, Nobel Prize winning author, used 300 pencils writing East of Eden. His favorite pencil? The Blackwing. Chuck Jones animated Tom and Jerry and the Looney Tunes with a Blackwing. John Williams, Blackwing. Walt Disney, you guessed it, Blackwing. It's not just a pencil, it's an experience. Now, the original run of Blackwing pencils were discontinued in 1998. They were so sought after that they resold for $40 a pencil. Palomino brought the Blackwing back in 2008 due to popular demand and these cost me $8 a piece. All this begs the question, is it worth it? The law of diminishing returns states that the more you spend on something, the smaller your gains get. Simply put, the difference between $1 and $10 is bigger than the difference between $110 and $120. There's also the end of the curve where it becomes too expensive to use and because of that, the effective gains start to drop off. The black wing is arguably at the end of this curve and depending on the person, might fall into the too expensive to use range. But the law of diminishing returns doesn't tell the whole story. This graph is really good at demonstrating quantitative values. Solid, tangible specs. Take the top speed of a car. A $10,000 car will get you to 125 miles per hour easy. A supercar that can reach 200 miles per hour is gonna cost you an additional $200,000. Solid, tangible, measurable features. What about a pencil? What kind of quantitative values should we measure it by? Something that actually matters. The black wing is nice. It's really nice. In fact, it's the nicest pencil I've ever used. It's not hyperbole, it's just fact. And it's not saying much either because it's a pencil. It's just a pencil. But it's not just a pencil. It's an experience. Again, this is not hyperbole, it's fact. Objectively, it's great. The lead gets as dark as I want it to, it glides really smoothly along the paper, it, it feels great, but that's not what makes it legendary. This is where the law of diminishing returns fails us. It doesn't take into account the intangible aspects of using a pencil, like the Palomino black wing. Look at it. It's, it's hot. The shape of the ferrule flares out into a pleasing rectangular tip. The removable eraser fits snugly into its sleeve. The matte black finish and the aroma of incense cedar wood makes you want to handle it. The matte finish feels good in the hand. The contrast of gold, black wing in bold, matte in light font feels well considered. None of this matters in a pencil. It's not going to make it draw better. And yet it does. Call it placebo if you want, but I believe it does. It's not just a pencil. It's an experience. If a tool makes me feel good using it, I would use it more. There are other pencils out there that perform as well as the Blackwing, but they don't entice me to pick them up and use them the way a Blackwing does. I feel special when I'm using a Blackwing. It makes me feel cool. And what's so wrong about that? If it's going to inspire me to draw more often, then it is genuinely worth the money. I love that things can be beautiful just for the sake of being beautiful. I don't want to pick up a pencil or a camera and start using it without giving it a second thought. I want to hold it and for a moment think to myself, gear matters, gear matters, gear matters.